What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, the creator and founder of the Comeback Movement, the man who's going to change your life. Good morning. Today's topic is going to be about the fog. I'm inspired by that as I'm sitting here today on these steps. As you know, if you've been listening to these daily series the last few days, I'm in Southern California here, going working on some stuff for my business, for my future. The same stuff as all you guys do, right? Going through the daily motions. But I'm getting to actually film these things from the ocean and, and do some pretty cool shit. So as I sit here watching the fog lift off of the ocean in the morning, if you know and you've been out there, it's like a marine layer. You see all the surfers out there and you can barely see them. And then the fog's going. It's getting it's getting clearer and clearer and clearer. I'm fucking mistaking them as dolphins and whales, but by no case is that what it is. It reminded me of the fog of drinking. And it doesn't even have to be about the fog of the drinking, right? I want to talk about where the fog comes from. The fog comes from not showing up to be who you want to be. The fog comes from sedating yourself and lying to yourself day in and day out and putting yourself in a false sense of positive reality that you think is truly going on. You get up every day. Think back to when, when you were drinking or if you're going through it right now. And there's this, this haze that's over you. Get up. You got that body just feels like shit. Almost feel pukey, borderline ready to puke. Can't hold any food down. Your head is just pounding. There's just like thoughts and anxiety ridden voices going through it. Not very clear. Can't see what's going on. And you're going through it day in and day out. And you keep putting yourself in it, expecting the fog to lift, yet it never lifts. And the reason that it can't lift is because you won't give yourself permission to let it lift. You literally will continue to keep going through that day in and day out, almost like it's your rite of passage. Right? Like you've earned that stuff. But deep side, down inside, you know, like, you know what? I don't want to live in this fog. This haze is getting too strong. It's getting too stressful for me. It's getting very, very fucking difficult to even get up out of bed. I can't fuck my wife because I'm too drunk. She thinks I smell like shit. My kids don't want nothing to do with me. Right? And if you've got little kids, it doesn't make sense because you think they don't know none of the difference. But they're like, dude, I don't want to go by dad. He smells. I don't, I don't want to go by dad. He gets weird. Gets loud. Gets obnoxious. Maybe gets a little too aggressive, right? But let's talk about that fog just for a couple of minutes. As the fog rolls in, the tide rolls in inside of your head, and you get hit with these daily feelings of what's going on, you search for a different way to get out of it. You think that some greasy cheeseburgers or maybe a little bit of time or something's going to make you feel better, and it does, right? It does. It, it'll lift for a little bit or go to work and take more action or sweat it out at the gym. But that truly is just a Band-Aid for the fog. If you truly want the fog to lift, you're going to have to move through what I call the four C's. Change is not easy. Change is not permanent. Change is an evolution. Change is necessary to lift off the fog. And these are the four C's that I want to take you through. In order to get this fog lift, in order to get to the other side and to be able to get your relationship where you want it to be, to be able to put that marriage back on fire, to be able to live the life that you finally want, to actually just not have a fucking hangover that's going to take you to move across this gap. Choice, clarity, confidence, and control. That's the step. Those are the process. Sure, there's a bunch more work that needs to go into it, but today I wanted to share with you just those four things I've been working on while I'm in Southern California. As the fog is going to rise, it's going to take us to a deeper, most powerful place out in the ocean where you feel victorious over your drinking, over your life, over your thoughts, over your actions, over your emotions. We're going to need to tap into this. And you can start today with day one. You can make that choice. A choice to release yourself from the fog. A choice to let go. A choice to face your deepest fears. A choice to join this program. A choice to listen to this, this podcast that I'm on. A choice to do whatever it is that you need to do today that will start dissipating the fog. I've got one action step for you. Get out a piece of paper today and write down, what is my deepest fear in life? Skip a page and then write down, what is my deepest fear in my business? Now, if you don't own a business and you're, you run a department or you run a, you're run a salesman or you're an executive, somehow, some way, it is, you are in business. You are out selling. You are out creating. You are out trying to win in the marketplace. What is your biggest fear in work? And then on that middle page, 
as you write these processes down, I think you'll see some congruencies in there. You'll see something that shows up over and over and over in there. Today's your choice. You gonna lift the fog or you gonna let the fog eat you up? Have an amazing day. And we'll talk to you tomorrow on the next episode of the Comeback Podcast.